Chapter 11, Lesson 2, Essential Question. How can you classify triangles? When you classify something, you are putting it in groups based on certain characteristics. Unlock the problem. If you look closely at Epcot Center's Spaceship Earth Building in Orlando, Florida, you may see a pattern of triangles. The triangle outlined in the pattern at the right has three congruent sides and three acute angles. What type of triangle is outlined? So it's right here in the blue. Congruent sides means that they're all the same length and three acute angles. That means that they are less than 90 degrees. So to squiggle underline what you're being asked to find, it's what type of triangle is outlined. And then the important information is that the three sides are congruent and the three angles are acute. So we're gonna fill out a table to help us determine what kind of triangle this is in the pattern. So we need to complete the sentence that describes each type of triangle. So let's look at the first one. It says classify triangle by the lengths of their sides because there are two different ways that you can classify or group triangles. An equilateral triangle, equal being the key word here, has blank congruent sides. And remember that congruent means the same. So same sides, in this case, same length. So how many sides are the same length? We can tell by the tick marks that all three sides are the same length. Let's just go down we have an isosceles triangle. So how many sides in the isosceles triangle are congruent? Well, three inches, three inches, so those two are the same, and they each have a tick mark, and then two inches, that's different. So that means that there are two congruent sides. Now the way that I remember isosceles triangle is by a little saying. I use the phrase, I saw Celise and her twin, because not all the time, but twins, they can be identical. That means they're the same physically. And so I have three and three, that's two of them that are the same. So I'm pretty sure that I did not spell Celise right, but please forgive that. Moving on to the third triangle is the scalene triangle. And how many sides are congruent for this triangle? Well, we have a three inch long line, a four inch and a five inch. So that means that none of them are congruent. When I think of scalene for me to remember, I always think about the lean part because no matter which way that you have the triangle, it's always gonna be kind of leaning to one side or the other because none of them are even. Now remember that the equilateral, isosceles, and scalene, those are classifying the triangles all by their sides. Now we need to classify them by their angles. Classifying by angles is also a little bit simpler to remember because you're using the same names for the triangles as we name the angles. So the first one is a right triangle because it has a 90 degree or a right angle. And a right angle is always shown by this little box here because the lines meet straight vertical and straight horizontal. The next one is an acute triangle because all three angles are less than 90 degrees. And an angle that is less than 90 degrees is called an acute angle. And I remember that by saying it's a cute little angle because you know babies are pretty cute and they're little and so that's how I remember. A cute little angle means it's less than 90 degrees. And then the last one is an obtuse triangle and it has one angle that, you guessed it, is an obtuse angle but you have to remember what obtuse means. It means that it's greater than 90 degrees. And so I think if I have a 90 degrees here, 
the wide part would eat the 90 degrees and so it is a large the large opening the large side here is greater than 90 degrees so the obtuse is the large angle so now that we have the different ways to classify a triangle, and each triangle is going to actually have two names. It's going to have one classification by side and one classification by angle. So the type of triangle in the pattern, we know that it had three congruent sides. So which triangle is that on this side? Three congruent sides. That means that it is the equilateral triangle because they're equal. And we can also say that it had three acute angles, three acute angles. And so if we look at our chart, that makes it also an acute triangle. For this activity, you need a ruler. Um, we are not going to be using the protractor. And so using the ruler, and your knowledge of angles, we are going to classify triangle ABC because you name triangles by their, their vertices. So we have ABC, and you name all the vertices, and that gives you the triangle. So classify triangle ABC by the length of its sides and by the measure of its angles. So you're giving it two names. To do that, you need to measure the sides of the triangle using the centimeter ruler and go ahead and just write it next to each side. So press pause and measure your lengths. So if you measured correctly, you should have ended up with side AB being four centimeters and side BC three centimeters and side CA six centimeters. So let's think about right here, what type of triangle has three, different, three sides of different lengths? If you need to, you can look back at your first page, but to me, that triangle kind of looks like it's leaning towards one side more than the other. That, that is a scalene triangle. The next step um, is to measure the angles of the triangle using the protractor, which we're not going to do. We don't actually need to know the specific measures because it's not asking for the specific measures. Um, we just need to know if they're acute, obtuse, or a right triangle. So let's look at angle A. I can tell that it is not meeting straight up and down like a right angle. It is squishing it because it's a cute little angle. And so it is an acute. And I'm just going to put an A right there. Let's look at angle B. Uh, if I rotate my page and I kind of look at it so that one of these sides is like flat on the bottom, I can tell that it actually opens pretty, pretty wide, larger than um, this straight up and down would. And so I know that B is an obtuse angle. So I'm going to just write an O right there. And then C I can also tell that that's squishing it, and because it's a cute little angle, it's an acute angle. And if we go back and look at your table on the first page, or if you remember that it, for an obtuse triangle, it only takes one angle to be obtuse. To be considered an acute triangle, all three angles have to be acute. So what type of triangle is this? Well, we have our obtuse, and if we look right here, what is an angle that called that is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180? 180 is a straight angle, so that's what 180 looks like is right down here. That is called an obtuse. So we have our two classifications. Triangle ABC is, based on sides, it is a scalene. Based on angles, it is an obtuse triangle. So let's look at the try this. The try this says, draw the type of triangle described by the lengths of its side and by the measure of its angles. So they're, they're giving you two different things right here. Based on the top, in this column, they want you to draw two scalene triangles. 
in this column, they want you to draw two isosceles triangles. But also, this box, because it's crossing the scalene, your scalene triangle has to have acute angles. It has to be an acute. So that means all three triangles need to, or angles need to be less than 90 degrees. Well, this box, it needs to be a scalene triangle, but it needs to also have an obtuse angle. And then this is an isosceles acute triangle, and this is an isosceles obtuse angle. So press pause and draw your four different triangles. Here are my examples. Um, you have your ruler, so you should be absolutely sure that your length sides are all different lengths but I have three acute angles. And with my obtuse, generally I do a really short and then a really long, making sure that this is my obtuse angle, and then I just connect them. And here are my two isosceles and her twin triangles, or isosceles twins. So these two sides are the same length as this one is, and this angle is larger than 90 degrees. Looking at this math talk real quick, um, can you draw a triangle that is right equilateral. So I want you to draw a 90 degree angle here and see if you can somehow make all three sides the same length. In all honesty, if you've been trying for a little bit, it's not going to happen. An equilateral triangle is always going to have acute angles. That's the only way to make it so that all three sides are the same length. So this is a no. On your share and show you are to classify each triangle. You are to write isosceles scalene or equilateral based on the length of their sides and then acute obtuse or right based on the measure of their angles. Press pause and work. Number one, they give us all the measures. So looking at the measures of the sides, I have six feet, seven feet, and nine feet. None of them are the same. They're all different. To me, personally, the triangle looks like it's kind of leaning to one side. And so that is a scalene triangle. Now I need to look at the angles. I'm gonna look at 51 degrees, 42 degrees, and 87 degrees. All of those are less than 90 degrees, and just by looking at them, they look kind of squished. And so those are all three acute angles, which means that it is an acute triangle. So now, number two, it doesn't give us any measures, but we do have our tick marks. So we see that all three sides have one tick mark. That means that they're the same length. It could be two centimeters, it could represent two feet, it doesn't matter, they're all the same length. So they are equal. That means that it is an equilateral triangle based on the sides. And yes, you have to spell out the entire word. And then based on the angles, I can tell that they are all the same measure because of the arc. And they are kind of squished. They don't go straight up and down or past open. So those are acute angles. All three of them are acute. So that makes it an acute triangle. And problem number three, it gives us a mix. Um, let's start with the sides. We know that this one is three centimeters, but there's no tick mark on this line, while this side and this side both have tick marks. That means that these two are the same length, and this one is different. So we have two that are the same, like twins, and who did I see with her twin? I saw a sauce, I saw Celise. So Celise and her twin, makes that an isosceles triangle. So now that I have it named and classified by its sides, I need to look at the angle measures. Um, I can see this is 29 degrees, which is definitely less than 90 degrees, and these two angle measures are the same. Now, they still look kind of squished. They are, um, they don't, a 90 degree would come straight out, so it's actually less than 90 degrees. They are different than 29 degrees, but they're still acute. They're still less than 90 degrees. So that makes this also an acute triangle. And then that math talk, basically we've already gone through that. You can just look at an angle for the most part and tell whether it's obtuse right or an acute.